Genital warts is probably the common cold of sexually transmitted infections. It's dreadfully, dreadfully common and it is passed on by a particular virus called the human papilloma virus. Um, many of us have been exposed to the human papilloma virus, whether that is as a child or when we become sexually active. Um, for that reason, genital warts showing up doesn't necessarily mean that the exposure was around about the same time. You may have been exposed ages ago and it's just that the warts have only shown up now. Um, warts can show up pretty much anywhere, penis, vagina, it can also grow on the tongue inside the mouth as well. Um, you can also get anal warts inside the anal cavity. Um, in gay men, um, genital warts are associated with an increased risk of cancers, in particular cancers of the bum and cancers of the head and the neck. Um, Genital warts can be treated fairly easily. It's a little bit of a complex process, but it can involve a number of different agents, whether that be a medicine that's placed onto the warts three days a week. They can also be frozen. They can be surgically removed as well, depending on how many there are and stuff like that. Um, when it comes to sexual health screening though, there's not, um, you know, we basically look at the area and if we see warty tissue, yeah, we go, yeah, that's definitely warts, let's get it treated. There's no blood test or anything like that that's particularly useful for genital warts. Um, there is a way to help reduce the risk of genital warts and it needs to happen when uh, a guy is young and that is with a vaccine against the human papilloma virus um, and it can help prevent um, warts showing up but also the head and neck cancers that are associated with the human papilloma virus. So if you're young um, and you haven't had um, a huge amount of sexual exposure, it's important to have a chat to your doctor about whether or not this is something that's appropriate for you. Even if you're older, even if you have had a number of sexual partners, it may still be something that's useful. So be sure to have a chat with your doctor.